1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Salman Tahir. First, the headlines. President of Belarus arrives in Islamabad today to hold talks with Pakistani leadership on areas of bilateral cooperation. Minister for Commerce has emphasized need for enhanced trade between Pakistan and Belarus. Pakistan Stock Exchange achieved another milestone today as 100 index crossed psychological barrier of 99,000 with an increase of over 1,400 points. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, 2,353 women were martyred by Indian troops since 1989. And now the news in detail. President of the Republic of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, will undertake three-day visit to Pakistan from today. In a statement, Foreign Office said the President Alexander Lukashenko will hold extensive talks with Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif and discuss areas of bilateral cooperation and engagement. Several agreements and memorandum of understandings will also be signed during the visit. The visit of the President of Belarus reflects the strong and growing partnership between Pakistan and Belarus. A ministerial delegation of Belarus led by Foreign Minister Maxim Ryzenkov had already arrived in Islamabad. Interior Minister Mohsen Nakvi received the delegation at the airport. Foreign Minister of Belarus Maxim Ryzenkov arrived in Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Islamabad today. Upon arrival, he was accorded a warm welcome by Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Mohammad Ishaq Dar. Minister for Commerce Jam Kamal Khan has emphasized the need for enhanced trade between Pakistan and Belarus. Addressing Pakistan-Belarus Business Forum in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan looks forward to receiving investment and transferring knowledge and technology through joint ventures from Belarus. He mentioned that eight business-to-business -business MOUs and contracts will be signed during this forum, which will pave the way for enhanced trade between the two countries. Pakistan Stock Exchange achieved another milestone today as 100 index crossed psychological barrier of 99,000. The stock exchange witnessed a bullish trend at start of business and reached 99,255 points with an increase of over 1450 points. The upward trend in the stock exchange shows increasing confidence of business community on economic policies of the government. Special Investment Facilitation Council support is elevating Pakistan's agricultural exports. The first shipment of berry honey from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has reached Malaysia. Pakistan's High Commission in Kuala Lumpur is playing a key role in fa facilitating connections between Pakistani and Malaysian companies. With an annual honey production of 20,000 tons from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Pakistan is becoming a reliable supplier of honey in the global market. The province hosts 60,000 beekeeping farms, providing employment to 1.6 million people. A proposal is being considered to establish a honey board to increase honey exports from Pakistan. The International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women is being observed today. Violence against women and girls remains one of the most prevalent and pervasive human rights violations in the world. The solution lies in robust responses, holding perpetrators accountable and accelerating action through well-resourced national strategies and increased funding to women's rights movements. The world is observing the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women today. While women in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir continue to suffer from Indian state terrorism, injustice and atrocities at the hands of Indian troops. According to latest report released by Kashmir Media Service in connection with the day, India has weaponized draconian laws to target the sanctity and dignity of Kashmiri women. The report stated that 2,353 women have been martyred and over 11,000 molested by Indian troops in the occupied territory since 1989. Indian state terrorism has rendered 22,980 Kashmiri women widowed in the past 36 years. The second one-day international of three-match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe will be played tomorrow in Bulawayo. The match will begin half-past 12 in the afternoon. 
Zimbabwe lead the series by 1-0. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live video streamings of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.